I was just in two of my favorite places. And I don't say that just for any any reason. I have a lot of favorite places because the this is a great country. What's so amazing about this country is that we have uh, 50 states and I've been to about 45 or 46 of them. And they all have their own unique value and they all have fun places. And I just went out to Phoenix, Arizona this past Friday and it is one of my favorite cities. I've been there uh, many times now. It's so hot. It is unbelievably hot there. Even at night, it's still just hot. And uh, But I love it out there. I mean, I had a, a great show. I did a theater there, the Orpheum Theater, which that's my first time doing a theater in Phoenix. I've done... Uh, Desert Ridge Improv there in Scottsdale. I've done Stand Up Live in Phoenix. I've done the Tempe Improv there in Tempe. And uh, I've done a couple of corporate gigs in Scottsdale. And I love it. I think it's just a great place. I have a fun time. And so the Orpheum was downtown. I did that theater. I went to a dispensary there. I am back on weed uh, I can talk about that a little bit. Uh, I never was a heavy, as an adult, I'll say. I've not been a heavy user. And uh, I, I was off of it for about a year. And to be honest, I didn't see any true positive changes. Which said to me, I don't know if it's doing anything negative for me. I didn't see any real po positive changes. And, uh, and so I've been dabbling a little bit just with some edibles and whatnot. And I don't know. I enjoy it. Uh, I use it like uh, at the end of the night, uh, not every night, but at the end of the night, just to take the edge off after a show. It's pretty fun. Um, I had my uh, feature uh, a guy opening for me named Willie Simon out of L.A., very funny guy. And um, we went to a dispensary. I got two compliments on my Kodiak hat. Uh and, you know, we bought a few things, and then we did our show, and then afterwards we went out to a little courtyard area right outside of Stand Up Live, still downtown. Well, we went to a Mexican restaurant to eat. I say Mexican restaurant. It was tacos and stuff. I don't remember what it was called. It was right underneath Stand Up Live there in Phoenix. Really great. I had duck, uh, and it came out in a little box with some tortillas inside of it. I never seen it done like that. Personally, I didn't prefer the box. I wish they would have just brought me a plate. Uh, but um, I had some duck tacos, and it was great, really fun. And then I sat out in the courtyard. Uh, we had some cigars, had a touch of weed. Uh, people uh, uh, were at the show, came out. We took pictures, and then Bobby Kelly was doing stand-up live. He came out. We hung out for a bit. It's a great time. Next day, I got up, and I flew to San Diego, San Diego uh, is such a great city. I remember years ago, everybody would say San Diego is the perfect city. They were like, it's the most expensive city to live in in the country. I don't know if that's still true. And they said it's because it has perfect weather. And they said the Uber driver picked me up in a Tesla. And I don't know if you know this, and I don't know if they're all like this, but I was in a Tesla car and the entire roof was a sunroof. I was like, that's pretty amazing. It was really great. Uh, but the guy was talking to me about how they were in the middle of a heat wave. And I was like, well, feels great to me. Uh, and I did enjoy it, but I think for San Diego, it was a heat wave. So I got to San Diego. I did some filming. I went to, uh, we were doing some promo videos. So we went to a place called the Hollywood Diner, which was great. And then we went to a Home Depot and a gas station and filmed some promo videos. I'm excited about those. And then I did uh, a show uh, at the Balboa Theater in San Diego. And what a great time. It was a really great show. Both of these shows, I did about an hour and 20 minutes, and it feels good. I mean, I didn't feel like I was going too long. I felt like the show had a good vibe all the way through. San Diego, though, I saw some comments where people were asking if I would talk about this, but I, I had a decent amount of hecklers uh, when I think of a heckler, I think of someone yelling something negative at me. So, and I don't think that's what these people were doing. So I don't necessarily consider them a heckler, but they were interrupting. 
uh, at various times asking about my hat. And then I said, my hat says Kodiak. And they were like, Alaska. They kept, I guess they really wanted me to say Kodiak, Alaska. I don't even know if that's a place. Um, uh, but it's, you know, my hat is a Kodiak wintergreen dip, uh, which is, you know, the best dip there is. Uh, but, you know, it, but I had a fun time. It's a fun show. I feel like when I get a show like that, if people yell out a couple of times, it doesn't really bother me because uh, it can be fun. We can have fun moments with it. I felt like I handled it well and I got some laughs off the person. I don't really mind it. I don't want to encourage it, but I don't I don't mind it because I feel like we got enough time to mess around with this person, but also I can still do plenty of jokes. 